Pokadoo right here, I'm going to bring you um, a little short video that's going to show you exactly how to take this, which is 3 8 copper, and the uh, uh, 5 8 copper, which is half inch ID, that's inner diameter, and this is quarter ID, inner diameter. This is outside diameter, 3 8. This one's outside diameter, 5 8. Uh, my battery connections is what this is going to be. Let me get this little light on here. Makes it a little brighter. What I've got is a little bit of a uh, short piece and this is to connect currently what I'm doing is you can use this for any kind of batteries. You don't have to buy them long cables and stuff but uh, this copper has got a fairly decent thick wall to it. It's soft copper so it's thick wall. Very pure pure copper and I've got a set of cutters. I've set this at seven inches for my batteries. And that's going to be the batteries, and I'll do a real quick little drawing here, that is two of the six volt batteries that are going to go together. And I have my battery post here. And this is plus, and this is plus, and you know, negative and negative. And I am, let me get a better picture here for you guys. And you know, typical little drawing of the batteries. And this is the space that I'm working with right here. This is to take two 6 volt batteries and turn them in for a 12 volt system. And what I'm doing is I'm making this piece here, instead of buying a cable, that's $7 for this little cable and they sell it to you in a foot. Uh, with connectors on the end of hell, in fact I think it's about 14 with the uh, connectors on the end of it. Uh, what I've got here is a little different idea. Um, I've used this before. I have another battery bank. It's down at another building and I on my property and I don't go down there. I don't video nothing down there. It's that's a Nunya property. And I'm lining this out with a whole string of batteries that will be in this battery bank. And I'm going to also use the same copper that's going to be going from here to here to the next one on down the line. So as more batteries are added, it'll be a cross of copper here, a cross of copper here, and you get the you get the gist of it. And that way these batteries will be connected. It's all going to be the same copper and the cost of this is less than half, closer to a third of what you're going to be dealing with. So you can see what I'm making now. That's that dark line right here. Okay? So let's start out by and I'll cut to in this video to give you all the ideas of how we're doing it. This is a 7 inch piece and I'm going to cut 7 inches off of this 3 8 Be right back. Okay, you can see now what I've done is I've cut this copper and I've cut it into lengths of 7 inch. Now, what you've got here, now you can look at my hand. This is a regular ink pen. Uh, I'll give you some dimensions. Um, this is a uh, cigarette lighter. Okay. And this is about the size of a standard standard uh, one aught, but it's, of course it's hollow. But you can see it's pretty thick copper. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to take this copper here and I'm placing it inside this copper. So you have your 5 8 OD outer diameter and your 3 8 right here OD outer diameter and placing them together. Okay? Now the next step for me to do is for me to take a pair of channel locks which I have here and these are pump pliers much better than channel locks are they? yeah Reed manufacturing so made in America ah, ain't that a bitch so now uh, all this is wow so now I'm going to crimp these ends a little bit to set forth my crimping procedure let me get that done and be right back all right, now what I've got done is I have uh, taken these channel locks and very squarely I have crimped the ends about one inch back on each end. Now, that's not the end all. I'm going to take this hammer and I'm going to hammer these flat outside on the concrete. That's what I'm working with right now and I'll show you the finished product and then I'm going to show you the measurement and the drilling and all that. Then we're going to take it out there and we're going to put it on the battery. Now right now this is a carrying capacity over 350 amps. This right here. 
It has a carrying capacity over 350 amps of power. So we're not going to do too bad. We're going to see exactly what this will come out to be when I put it on the battery. Stay tuned. Now smash flat brought back in. I've got it sitting here in these channel locks as you can see uh, pump pliers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff right here which is which is flux paste and I'm going to brush the ends just a little bit and wipe a little bit in the ends of them and I'm going to do them both and I've got it down here putting a little bit of flux paste and we're going to do both sides both sides of this and this flux place paste is going to allow me to use some of this 95.5 right here 95.5 hope the clarity is good um, get on. solder and what we're going to do is we're going to take this map torch right here it's a map gas torch pretty affordable item about $35 or $40 at your local hardware Lowe's or whatever and as you can see the way I set this in here is an old plumber's trick for solving fittings on the pipe. Um, I'm going to pull out my, my uh, solder here and get it ready. Alright, now the way to do this is we're going to heat this up and we're going to wipe the solder on it. And then you're going to kind of wipe that all over while it's wet and hot. And that's tinning, it'll smoke a little bit, that is tinning, tinning your, uh, your copper. And it'll also get it down in here where it helps connect that uh, piece of pipe that was crushed in there. It's not that you need to do it, but I do it. I'm going to hit it with a little more flux. And I'm going to do all ends of this, both sides. And you'll see why when we get it out there to the batteries. All right, now the copper's been tinned, and it's tinned on both ends. You've got down in the groove, everything is full conductivity. And the reason I'm using this 95.5, which is 95% tin, is its conductivity transfer and the fact that it'll crush a little bit better and connect to and make a better connection to that lead battery uh, post. Now, I have set this up. My battery spacing is 6 and 1 eighth of an inch my battery spacing. Yours may differ. And I've set this up. You see the little black mark. Those are where I'm going to drill holes. And uh, start out drilling it with a smaller bit because it's soft metal. And I'm starting out with an eighth inch bit and then I will progress it up to a 11 30 seconds which is just a little bigger. I believe it's 11 30 seconds. Might be Let's see, I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it's 11 30 seconds, which is just a little bigger than a 5 16 stud, which is on the battery post. Okay, and we're going to drill this out both ends, and we'll cut to uh, being out there where the batteries are at, and you're going to get to see how this goes in and makes this work. And you'll love the fact that it carries a massive amount of amperage, and this little 7 inch piece of copper. If you pay $53 for a whole roll of one, $42 for a roll of the other, um, you're looking at roughly about a dollar and forty cents for this. Is that better than paying ten or twelve dollars for a one foot length with a set of terminals? I'm thinking so. So let's go ahead and get this drilled out and out to the shop. All right, now back out to the shop here. Um, as you can see, this is how one of the uh, batteries is hooked up. Um, that uh, thermodyne turbine puts out so much power I had to actually start adding sets of these because the uh, Everstart marine batteries I got four of them hooked up to it right now it's keeping them so hot I can't do anything so I hooked up an additional set of these just with a set of jumper cables onto you can see the cables going over to uh, right there where the Everstart start at now and that's the uh, that's the little bullshit charge controller that uh, runs off of that turbine up there, the uh, Thermodyne. So now what I've got 
now is these are the batteries and the uh, link that I made I show you here it is it's very heavy actually it's a heavy very heavy piece and we're going to put that and these batteries here are uh, purposely one and a half inches away from each other and I want that because I got drafting that I'm putting in this battery bank and plus I can get in here and service them you know you, you these guys, guys listen man don't butt your batteries up against each other don't do that okay if you have one leaking you'll never know which one's leaking because you'll never see it if they're all jammed in tight and I see these guys with these big battery banks and they're just just hammered against each other like the battery bank in my basement and the one at the other shop give them some space it ain't gonna kill you you know give them some space and that way you can watch them you can maintain them better now here's that piece now what I've got is this a 6 volt battery I'll take this off here this is a 6 volt battery here's my negative over here is my positive across from it just like in the order of this battery here is my negative and over here is my positive now I'm going to join these two 6 volts together to make a 12 volt battery out of it that big heavy piece of copper right there will handle is every bit of amperage this battery is capable of and then we put the nuts on tighten them down right on that tinning you remember the tinning I showed you earlier in the video and on that tinning when you tighten these down it eats in a little bit and beds it very very nicely so now I'll get you a bigger view here look I can feel that grabbing right there really nicely and you don't have to worry about all the issues that come with corrosion and everything else and you'll know if you've got a, a excessive hydrogen because this copper will start greening up okay one of the benefits of using this is not only does it carry more amperage than the wire of the same size because it is solid it's a bus not only does it carry more amperage if it starts to turn green a little bit it's not getting in between fine strands of wire like it will on this thing right here see this cable this cable okay is nine dollars at Walmart for this this cable this by the time you get done with everything you're gonna to do to it is under two bucks okay so as you can see tighten it up it's made a lead tin on lead contact which is the best in the world and now if I'm wanting to join battery banks together all I have to do is take that copper and lengthwise put the 3 8 inside of it and come along here and bow it down hammer a flat spot in it drill it put it over the bolt go up over the top of the battery with the copper remember it's soft copper it's very malleable and then come down to the next battery that would be over here and the same way with the positive so in other words it'd be like this positive the copper coming in dipping down because you can just bend it and coming up clearing everything by about two or three inches coming over to this one's positive hitting it going to the next one's positive and then the way you do this is you run your negatives all down to one end run your positives from the other end all the way down to the other and you will pull from this side for positive and pull from this side for negative and that's called a balancing of the batteries now this as you can see is exactly how this battery bank's going to be hooked up on these bars in the middle I'm not going to insulate them okay however on the bar on the pipe that I'll be running um, from this positive to this positive to the next to the next because as you can see I've got a pile of these and as I run that one that will just use a regular three-quarter inch water hose I'll slide it over the whole thing cut it sleeve it and it won't be to where you can get any kind of electrical anything touching so there's your bus bar self-designed under two dollars 
and it handles more amperage than you're going to ever use unless you're psychotic or you got bad behavior it's going to use more it's going to be able to have the capacity of more amperage than any of these wires because most people use like a four or two or something between their batteries and if it has uh, any problems whatsoever uh, with hydrogen excess hydrogen because this will all be built in a big battery bank out here uh, it's going to be in a cabinet uh, excess hydrogen will make this copper start getting chalky and green okay and that tells you to increase your flow or whatever it's kind of like a little tattletale sign all right pokey do right guys this is how you save money this is what it's all about don't spend your money on a bunch of crap if you're buying it to save money don't do that stay the hell away from those resellers you know go to the source go to aliexpress go to amazon go to go to wherever just get the hell away from them clowns like uh like that nut job that wants to stalk you we all know who he is asshole down in missouri he's got mental problems man i mean shit there's a court case trying to decide whether he has mental problems avoid that clown learn to do this on your own save your money save your effort and didn't I do that a lot cheaper than buying a big lug crimper and all that crap? That's a lot better job. Alright, Pokey Deerites out.